Hey guys, um, I'm coming to you today with a what my one-year-old son got for Christmas. This may take a while. I'm looking around me and there's a bunch of stuff. Um, I just want to say with these videos, this is in no way to brag or um, like show off anything. It's just I love watching these videos. I'm going to actually do one for myself. Sorry guys, that's something in my eye. Um, I'm going to actually hopefully do one for what I got for Christmas and what my husband got for Christmas, if we could kind of combine and do this. Um, I actually made this video last year when my son was not even two months old. Um, if you scroll back, that one you should be able to find. If you see me keep looking around, my son is walking around the house. So I'm keeping an eye on him because our house looks like a tornado went through. Um, this is the day after Christmas. So yesterday was Christmas and we go to a lot of different families' houses. So we came home and put our stuff down and got ready for bed. And so I'm ready to put our stuff away. Um, I'm wearing some little Christmas earrings for the video, but I'm ready to get the stuff put away today. So I wanna show you guys so I can get it put away. So this is all things from me and my husband to my son, um, two of his great grandmas, um, two of his, one of his Nana and his grandma. So he has my mom, he calls Graham Tam. He calls Devin's mom, Nana. My great grandma, he calls great Graham. And then one of my great grandmas, he calls Nana also. So he has two Nanas. So I'm not going to really say if I happen to say some things here or there. Also, a couple things are from one of his aunts, which I just realized I'm missing something. I may go try to find it quick. But I may not like get into where everything's from. Some of the things I might say who it's from, but um, just know this is all from a bunch of different people. Me and my husband actually did not get him that much this year because he's only one. And he honestly was more worried about the trash and plastic containers and boxes than he was about his toys. But I'm gonna get started. I've got all this stuff here. Um, when I get down to a certain thing, I may pause the video and go try to find it for you guys, but I'll start off with a couple small things in front of me. One of the things was from my husband and I, and they're these little stacking blocks, or um, stacking little containers. And these are so cute, and they all have different little things. There's like a snowflake. These were back in like the ta the Target like stocking stuffers. And my son loves little things like this to carry around and throw around. I'm sure half of these will end up getting lost. But the top little one is a polar bear, and he sits there. Or you can like tuck him in, and he'll be a stacking cup. So we got him this little thing. I think it was like $3.99 or $2.99 or something. So that was kind of like a small stocking stuffer from my husband and I. Um, also, we got him, my husband and I got him these little finger puppets from the Target little stocking stuffer area. And there was the Abominable Snowman. And I think her name's Clarice from Rudolph. And then Rudolph. And the little elf who wants to be a dentist and Santa so I thought these would be fun they don't squirt or anything but I thought they would be fun just like to play with or in the bathtub different little puppets so they were like $2.99 or $3.99 or something like that so got him some of those little guys in his stocking um, right in front of me also these were from my Nana to him so it's like great Nana. They were a little pack of bath squirters. You can see the little hole. They are baby shark. So there's actually baby shark and is the pink mommy shark I'm guessing. And I don't know all the sharks. I can't remember which one are all the sharks. I should know this. But he's got the blue shark, the yellow shark, the pink shark. And then he's got one of the little fishies, which he's so cute. I love his little eyes. So he got a little four pack of bath squirters. Let me go check on him really quick. Okay, we are all right. He had just kind of fell down a little bit, <laughs> getting his binky. But the next thing, my Nana had this under her tree and I thought it was so cute. I'm not sure when she got this. She goes to a lot of auctions, so I don't know if she found it there or if this was actually at Old Navy this year, but it's this little reindeer and it's a piggy bank and it says Old Navy and she actually has it filled up with change. She actually has it 
taped underneath so it doesn't fall out. But I thought we can open this and put this in his savings account. So I thought that was super cute. And it was just sitting under the tree. So that was from his great Nana. Also, she got him this little ornament. I feel, oh, it was from Kohl's. And it has an H for Hayden. And it says um, 2019 on this little thing. And it's so cute. I thought that was so sweet. I love getting ornaments. So that was also from her. And then, excuse me. My husband and I got him these little people set. This was a together little set. And it's got the little pizza delivery truck and the little door pops open. And there's the pizza. He looks like he's the pizza delivery guy. He's got a little pizza on his hat. And then this guy, I don't know who he is, but he came with the little set. So they both sit in there in the car. And then it also came with the little police motorcycle. And this spins around. And it's a little girl on it, the police officer. She's really cute. So I thought that would be fun. And these roll really good. He, for his birthday, if you guys watched that video, he got a Little People Farm set. So I kind of want to keep collecting him the Little People sets because there's something he can play with. It's not like a one-year-old present and he's going to grow out of it. Like the, the ages on there are like up to five. And I know like I would have probably played with these little guys even longer than five so i thought those were cute the next thing uh his great nana got him this little cell phone or uh, no actually it's a remote it says baby's new favorite learning channel um so this is actually really cool because hayden always grabs our remotes it said this was 9.99 from kohl's he always takes our living room remote once to and wants to push buttons so if he likes this it would be great So that's really cool. I'm really hoping he likes this. I need to get it out of the packaging and let him try it. Okay, sorry, my mom called me from work, so I wanted to answer it quick. Let me get us back. Okay, so the next thing, so I'll show you guys. What? Sometimes my phone, I've got like a makeshift tripod and it slips. Okay, I think we're good. So I was showing you guys the little remote and it says it's got 35 plus song sounds, tunes, and phrases. So that's really cool. I'm going to open this up and give this to him. I was trying to get all his toys open so they're open and ready for him to play with. Because sometimes if you don't open them right away, you kind of procrastinate and it takes a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you this that's down in front of me. If I can lift it all together. Let me try. Um, my Nana got him. She got him a stocking, which you're going to see in a minute. Um, and this little train and the little cars just like go on. You can put them in any order or maybe even get more cars because it even has an extra little piece. And she had this down um, in his little stocking. It is so cute. All the little pieces. It's a Melissa and Doug. And I think their stuff's so cute. And all the little characters you can remove. And it's got Piglet and um, Winnie the Pooh, and Tigger, and Eeyore. Now, I cannot remember what this character's name was. That's bad, but I can't remember. I loved Winnie the Pooh, though. But all the little cars are so cute, and they have little honey pots. So I'm excited for him to be able to push this around and play with. So I'm gonna pull that to the side. One of the next things, my husband and I got this for him out of the little Target stocking stuffer aisle again. And it's a, one of those little squish, they're called like squish mallow, mellows or something, squish mellows. And I got a bunch of these for my niece for her birthday. And Hayden actually has a really big one and um, in his pack and play that he can lay on and he likes to fall down on it and stuff. So I love this one. It's a little nutcracker. And he's so squishy. So I, he's already been playing with this little guy. So he's got that. This was from my Nana's house. I've got the volume up full. Um, you can do level one, level two, level three. It's Fisher Price. It says Smart Stages. And it's like a little tablet. He really loves to play with our cell phones and everything. And um, he likes to like, if he's watching a video, he likes to try to hold it by himself. So this is really cool and it lights up really great too. Can you boo, boo, like an owl? It's really, really neat. 
and it's got like it even shows like a lock screen and it really like reminds you of like an iPad or something. So and it's got all the ABCs and it teaches him all the different stages do different things. Like the first stage, I think, let's see. So he would obviously be just on level one, but it's so cute. And when it's dark, like in the car or something, if he was playing with this, it lights up really good. So I thought this would really keep him interested. I was with her when she got this for him and she got it from um, Books A Million. And so he has really shown a lot of interest in this toy so far. Little man's crawling around underneath me. If you hear him, he might grab some of his toys. Another thing that his uncle got him yesterday were some of these little trucks and there's like a little dump truck I don't know like what all these there's a bulldozer or I don't know which one's a bulldozer or I'm not very good with that but I don't know much about trucks and cars and stuff but here's this little one and it moves up and down and this little guy Hayden don't play with that he likes to play with the door stops and this little truck buddy come here no 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 come here good boy so he got a little set of trucks and he did get some Christmas money to um, from like my dad and different people to put in his savings account so that I'm not going to show or say, but he got some of that for his savings account. Um, this was from Ross. My grandma got this. I think it was either Ross or TJ Maxx. I feel like it was Ross. She got this for a really good price. I feel like it was like $15.99. It's even though he's walking, he still likes to hold your hand and like walk you around. So we thought that this would be really fun. And Devin put it together yesterday and it's got all these little things like he can flip this door and slide this and spin this around. And then also down here, it came with um, three shapes. So you could do the square and the little circle and well, I just dropped the triangle, but you can put, and he also for his birthday, if you guys saw that, he got a whole box of these little shapes. So he even has more he can put in there. I'm going to see, look buddy, you want to play with this? He's focused on something over there, but look buddy. So that was pretty cool. And I'm hoping he will like start just pushing that around. And because he just loves to go in circles and hopefully it will entertain him a little bit. So I think he's going to play with it. Um, next thing, let's see. Me and my husband got him this little guy. If you watched one of my book fair hauls, you might have seen him. And guys, this is probably going to be a super long video. I just want to apologize in advance because it's already been long and I've got a lot more to show you guys. But this little guy is so soft. He's a little frog and he's from the company Gund. And he was still $7.99 at the book fair. So I feel like he was probably pretty expensive, but he is so cute. So I'm really, really like him. Then next, these were all just some random little gifts that we put in this bag to contain because they were all over the house. Um, my husband and I got him this little baby shark book. I got this from Ross and it's got like the song and you can do your little finger puppet. He seemed like he was really interested in that. So a little baby shark book. Then if you guys can see all these toys in here, this was so cool. I used to love when I was little, I used to love bath toys and I wouldn't even put them in the water. I would just like line them up and play with them, all the different animals. So my mom got him a bunch of little sets from Walmart that were in little long plastic tubes. One of the sets were these little airplanes with wheels and they roll. And so we got, I think there was, a few of those there's the little airplanes and then he got some little animals here's another little airplane and the little animals are so cute it's like little puppies and flamingos and like a little panda bear there is a ton of them in here dinosaur like a little bit of everything um here's the cute little chicken and then my husband and i got him this little set of trucks and I thought they were so cute. And I was originally gonna open them and put them in his stocking, but I just ended up wrapping them. But little cars, and there was a little helicopter, and the top moves. I got these for like $4 or $5.99 at Ross, and he loves little things, and they're the perfect size for his little hands to carry around. 
So he's got like all kinds of little trucks. And I thought they were so cute, little race car. So me and my husband got him this set, but there's even more little toys, bath toys in here. So he's definitely, I have a little shelf in his bedroom. I need to really, I've been saying this for a long time, I really need to do a bedroom tour and you guys can see everything. I'm gonna put his little sharks in here too. Because I have like a special little places where I put all this kind of, his little guys. But this whole bag is full of little toys. I think that's so cute. But I need to show you guys where I set all this stuff because it looks really cute. Um, so we got all that. We're going to start on this bag next. I think a lot of this was from his Nana's house, my husband's mom. Um, she got him these super cute little monster slippers. They are so cute. And they've got little grippies. And speaking of slippers, he also got a pair from my Nana and they're in his bedroom because he had them one last night. They are Spider-Man slippers. So I don't have those out here. Um, he also got, this is so cute. It's got a hood and it's buffalo plaid and it's like a little all together little set, little onesie. And it is 12 to 18 months from Old Navy. I think this is so cute. This was from, I think that was from his uncle Evan, Devin's brother. This is actually what I was thinking, and I do have it. Um, this was from his aunt, one of his aunts. It's a little Avengers shirt, and she always gets him bigger stuff, which I love because he has time to grow into it. Like, this is a size six, so he will, that'll be big on him, but he'll have time to grow into it. And these little Avengers shorts. Be like little pajama set. Hayden, are you being good? And she also got him some little Spider-Man underwear, which they are so cute. I cannot even imagine when he is wearing underwear. They're 2T to 3T. So I cannot even believe that here soon he will be wearing, <laughs> wearing underwear. That is so crazy. And then his Nana also got him this little puppy dog from the movie Pets. And he's so cute. Hayden loves puppy dogs. So I know he's going to love carrying him around. And then Evan, his uncle, also got him these little dinosaur shoes. And I am in love with these shoes. They are so cute. He had a pair of dinosaur shoes when he was like really little. They were little baby shoes. And they were my favorite. So these are, I think, are like a little stegosaurus. So they're cute. They're from Old Navy also. So that's all in that bag. Hey, Dan. I'm going to peek at him. And then next, I'm going to just lay this bag over here. Um, I've got a bag here beside me. I might start over here first. This was also from my husband and I for Hayden. It was this whale. I got him... At TJ Maxx for $12.99. I thought he was adorable. Um, what he does, he's called a little toasty. It says they're from New Zealand. Heat and hug. So a microwave my removable belly. It says heat me and hug me. So he has a little belly in him that you get out of the bottom and it's like buttoned in. And you heat it in the microwave and then you could like put this in bed with them or when they're nap time or bedtime and it would be warm and they could hug him. So I thought he was adorable. So I got him from TJ Maxx for our son. And then let's see where to start over here. I've got this Christmas box. These outfits were from Hayden's Nana, which is my husband's mom. I've ended up telling you guys like where everything was from. Uh, and she got him the cutest little uh, shirts and pants. So these are all onesies. And I think everything's like, this is a 12 month shirt and it's little, it clips there. It's cute little onesie and some little army pants. And I think these are all 12 months. And this is an 18 month little shirt, a little onesie with a rocket ship on it and some little burgundy pants and these are 12 months also and then i love this one i love royal blue it's like my favorite color on myself wearing it because i think it looks good with like dark features so we got one of those this is 12 months 
with these little 18 month blue little like corduroy pants. I think that's what you would call them. They are adorable. So he always needs pants and shirts and we go through clothes like crazy and I just love to dress him. So little boys are so easy to dress by the way, like so easy. I love being a boy mom. You can just put on a little shirt and a vest and uh, pants and it's like good to go. So easy. Um, next, my grandma, so it's his great grand got him this nice little fleecy if you guys could feel this it feels like like polar fleece it's so nice these were actually at dollar general it's 24 months um so it's pretty big he'll have time to grow into it these were at dollar general for five dollars i was with her when she got this i was hoping to find him a ton more but all they had were small sizes this was the only 24 months i could find in like three dollar generals so he only was able to get one but if you guys have these in a dollar store near you, pick them up. They are so great for winter. Next, my aunt and uncle got him like this whole bag of stuff. And it's like music themed. Um, all these toys that are loud and fun and like very like I think he'll have so he'll have so much interest in them. I'm really excited. He already loves that she got him this guitar. <gasps> And it lights up and you can turn the volume up and down. It's so cute. So I think this stuff like will make him really creative and have fun with it. So he got that. And then this, I actually already took the plastic off of it. I think this might've been, it says jump and jive. I don't know if this was a Melissa and Doug set either. But you twist the top of the drum and you can fit all the stuff inside. So the guitar came by itself. This came with the drumsticks and you can, it came with some other toys I'm going to show you, some musical toys. So he can get the drumsticks and play the drum and it tucks away nice in the drum, which I love. It came with this little tambourine and it also came with two maracas that go in there and it came with I'm only seeing one at the moment so I'll have to figure out where the other one went but it has two of these I can't remember what these are called but they're so fun so all this stuff fits like neatly inside the drum so I'm gonna put it in there there's another little clicker but I don't know where it is at the moment. He might have played with it and carried it off somewhere or it's in another bag. So it all fits in there. I think that is adorable. So cute. Um, she also got him more sets. This came by itself. It was a Fisher Price. Or no, actually it was a three pack. It was, um, if you guys can see me in the mirror, it's a tambourine and they can hold it here and it's got a mirror. So this was in a set along with these two maracas he got some more maracas you can see these ends are these ends and these are squishy so this came in a three pack together so he got a guitar some maracas some tambourines and that is just such a cool gift and they also got him a microphone so he got an entire, like, he's a one-man band, y'all. A one-man band. And let me see. I had it all. They have this whole bag full of this stuff. I don't know where his other little clicker is, but that's all right. Um, these were from my grandma, and I had them stuck in this bag. He got a little recycling truck. And these were so cool. Like they lit up really cool and they actually kind of drive by themselves. So he got that. He got this little truck with headlights. And there's three buttons on top of all of them and the taillights light up. This one also has three buttons on the side. And then he has this little race car and it's got three buttons. I just think that's cool how it lights up. So yeah, they like drive by themselves. 
So that was really cool. We got some little cars from her. That's all that stuff. Um, these are from his great Nana. They're these little Oshkosh boots. I feel like she got these maybe at Kohl's. And oh my gosh, they are so cute. They're, I told her to get a size six when she asked because I think he's in a size five right now. So I thought bigger is better, especially for little boots if you have big socks under them. Look how cute. And he has a little snowsuit. These will be so cute when it snows. They are absolutely adorable little Oshkosh boots. I'm so excited about these. And they came in the cutest little shoe box. It's so nice because I do not pay a lot of money for shoes for him. Sorry guys, it's kind of a glare. Because he's little and he grows out of shoes. Honestly, most of the time he's in socks. So it's really nice when somebody gets him stuff like this. Um, I might have to, let me close the curtain a little bit. Okay, not so bright now. I had to close the curtain. Um, this was from his great Nana too. It's a Melissa and Doug little farm puzzle. I thought this was absolutely adorable. And the pictures, it says the pictures are under the pieces. I thought that was so cute. He does not have, he doesn't have any puzzles like this. So that was actually something he really needed. I have him a few puzzles for when he gets older, but none like this. So I'm really excited about that. Then he also, from his great Nana, got this really nice winter coat. This is Oshkosh also. And it is so warm. I wish you guys could feel the inside of this jacket. Buddy, come here. Let me check on little man. Okay, I'm back. Little man. He is so engrossed in what he's doing over there. But it's so nice. It Velcros up here. It's got a nice zipper. This is adorable. Let me see what size. It's a, excuse me, guys. It's a 2T, so hopefully he'll be able to wear it all this winter and all of next winter. So that was a super nice gift. That was very, it says faux fur. That was such a nice gift. He really needed something like that. So we got a jacket. Then this, she also got him this little vest. Okay, sorry, now my husband called, so I was answering that. But this is a little, this is from Crown and Ivy. So I think, is that from Belk? I feel like it's from Belk. And I thought this was so, yeah, it is. It says on the tag, Belk. It's so cute, though, this little vest. It's, it, it's not showing up very good on camera, but it's like blue and white heathered. So that is adorable. I love putting vests over his cute little shirts. It's so easy, and he looks so nice. Um, this was also from his great Nana. These were little 18 month little blue sweatpants and it came with this 18 month little sweatshirt that has bears and um, little mountains and trees. I thought that was so cute. He needs more like little sweatshirts and stuff. This was also from Nana and this was the Okie Dokie brand, which I, JC Pennies is that. Um, it says on the tag, it's this little jacket and it's, it's all one piece. It's sewn together, but I thought that was so cute with some little jeans, very cute little khaki pants. Um, this was from my aunt to him. These were 12 to 18 month baby gap, little pajama pants, little Spider-Man, and it came with the little shirt. I thought those were adorable. His dad, my husband loves Spider-Man, so very cute. He has those. My mom, his gram tam, got him this one I'm about to show you. And she also, she got him a bunch of toys too. But, um, well, yeah, she got, she kind of gave him stuff along the way. But she got him, I'm trying to think of everything she got him. She got him though, um, an outfit he wore for Christmas Eve and an outfit he wore Christmas Day. But I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff. I know I probably have said different things. But she got him this super cute Old Navy sweatshirt. It's adorable. It's a little big. I wish I could have a sweatshirt that felt like this. It is that comfortable. The inside is so soft. It's a 4T. Oh, yeah. Some of the gifts she got him is actually in his bedroom. I'm going to go and grab them so you guys can see them because they're adorable. 
We did our Christmas with my mom on Christmas Eve just because Christmas Day gets so hectic. My mom also got him this little outfit. I believe this is Carter's 18 month. It's got the little bear hood, which is adorable. And it snaps at the bottom. I love these outfits and some gray sweatpants. Literally, he cannot have enough sweatpants. I put sweatpants on him all day, every day. They are comfy for him, I know. They are easy. I love the solid pants. They go with every single shirt. Honestly, little boys are the easiest thing to dress ever. So cute. Um, this was from his great gram. This little set, it came with a little bear jacket and little blue fleecy sweatpants. This is so cozy. Got that, and this was the stocking my Nana got him that he had his little train down in and his little uh, remote was down in. So this is really cute. It will actually match our stockings really well. So right now he just has a little baby stocking. He really needed that. I am gonna pause this really fast and grab a few items that are in his bedroom. All right, I'm back. So I grabbed just a few more things out of his room that I had forgot about. Um, also something that's in his room that I'm not carrying out right now, but you guys will start to see in a lot of the videos is, um, this chair. It looks like, like a little rocking chair and it has whales on it and it goes with the theme of his bedroom. And as soon as we clean up, um, all the Christmas stuff in the next coming weeks, we will move our living room back around and have more room and we will put his chair in the living room. So you guys will probably start seeing that very often because like, Right now, he's over there playing and watching his little shows, so it would be really cool if he had a little chair he could set in. These were actually the little slippers I was telling you guys that were in his bedroom, and I went and grabbed them. These are adorable and so cute on his feet, and they have the little grippers, little Spider-Man slippers. So he has Spider-Man and Monster slippers. I'm super excited about these. I had not bought him any slippers. Um, this was also a gift from my husband and I that I ordered from Amazon. It is a, he loves when my husband is playing video games, he wants to touch his controllers. So we got him his very own controller. And it's super cool. There's like lots of stuff to click, like stuff he can do. This little joystick moves. And you can do it's really cute. So I'm hoping when Devin plays with his controller, Hayden will feel like he has his own controller. So we got that from Amazon. Um, his Graham Tam got him this really cool toy. I was so excited about this. It's really big actually. He loves reading and he loves flipping through books. And normally like on his little toys that have like a book built in, it's only like one or two pages you can flip unless he's actually holding a regular book. This has so many pages. It's like, it's really big. It's got a bunch of pages he can look at and they tell little stories about the dinosaur and there's the alphabet. It's really cool. Um, let me turn it on. Just a little, I was thinking, oh yeah. Oh, right here. You can switch to off. Let me go grab little man. He just walked in his room. Okay. I ended up bringing little man out. He's ready to play. So we're going to go in his room in a second and put all this stuff away. Okay, hold on. Oh man, nothing like dropping the tambourine. So, oh dude, you have the loudest toy. Look baby, look, play with this. Okay, well, I'm sorry that that's gonna be loud but it's entertaining him. We are almost done. Um, so this was the little dinosaur I was showing you guys and you cut it on and it does ABCs, it does um, music, it reads a story, the little story that's in this book. Let's learn letters. And you can push all of these things, the butterflies, there's this that spins, you can do all of these numbers, um, you can cut the volume up and down. This is just something so cool he can carry it. Um, this will be so much fun in the car and when we're driving and stuff that he can just hold and flip through and make lots of sounds. And last thing, I'm gonna end this video because Hayden's being quite noisy. Um, one of my cousins, Kim, made him this awesome stocking and she knitted this and it says Hayden and it's got a little snowman and I thought that was so cute. 
So guys, this is what our son got for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I've gotten up and down and answered phone calls, but taking these videos with your one-year-old up and roaming around is getting more difficult. So definitely my first video when he was two months old was way easier to take, but this one's way funner. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will probably be posting today what I got for Christmas. I'll probably have the same clothes on. So I will show you guys that. I'm going to get this stuff put away. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, please like, follow, and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Our Perfect Life. And it's um, three E's at the end of life. You can find us on Instagram. I would love to have you be a part of our YouTube channel and our family. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon.